Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn Stripe Custom Payment Flow Integration using PHP and JavaScript. If this is your first time in this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video if you gain any value from it. Alright, before we start, I'm going to show you my startup files. Alright, this is Stripe PHP Master Folder. This is the PHP library for Stripe Payment Integration. And this is my console page my index.php file, my success page after successful payment. This is where I'll be redirected to. All right, then before we start, uh, we are going to head over to Stripe documentation as we have here. All right, since we are working with custom payment flow, we are going to choose this, click on custom payment flow and scroll down. So the first step is to set up our Stripe. We can do that. I have I've said that many times. You can install the PHP library via Composer. I have a video for it. You can click on it or check my description box using Composer. Or you can download it directly from GitHub from this link. All right. Then first thing we're going to do is to create a payment intent. All right. So we create a payment intent on our server with an amount and currency. So we're going to copy that my secret key is only is already showing because um, i've logged on to my strap account all right so we'll get over to our code editor so this is my index.php my success page and my cancel page all right okay we're going to open our php tag then paste that here all right the only changes we're going to make here is just the amount since we'll we'll have fifty dollar in our browser so we're going to make this fifty double zero is remember to always leave your amount in cents all right save that head back so there are different approaches that you can use to pass the client secret to the client side okay you can do that by single page application or server side rendering so i'm going to make use of server side rendering okay so this is the intent variable that will be created we have already copied that in our code then the next thing that we'll be needing will be this form so just copy that. Just paste it here, then make some changes. Remember the intent variable is being passed in this attribute, data secrets attribute. So this variable is coming from here, all right? Okay, I think we forgot to add something. We need to add our PHP library. So we use function require. The name of the folder is Stripe PHP master folder. And what we need is this init file. All right, so Stripe PHP master Hold okay then init.php file all right so when we head back we are going to copy this this our our form inputs the card holder name and the email and put it in the form then paste it here you can just change this submit payment name to just pay all right so when we head back to our documentation so next thing is to set up stripe element so we'll be needing this remember it is in our head section so we'll scroll up and then paste that in our head section all right 
so so what is the next step so our next step is to create an instance of element with the following javascript on our page all right so i'm going to copy this just click on this icon remember my my publishable test key is already here because I've, i'm logged in okay to my stripe account i want to scroll down and create our javascript tag then paste it there So next thing we're going to add this. So just copy that. These are all card elements. We are now mounting our card in our form. So just paste that. Okay. Let me refresh that, see what happens. Okay, our card is showing. All right, next thing I'm going to change this color to green. Okay, this is the color of, this will be the color of any, okay, let me refresh that. To change our input color to green, once entered, see? Head back. So our next step is towards element validate user input at this type to help your customers catch mistakes. Listen to the change events. So we're going to add that. So we want to just click on this JavaScript because that's what we want. Then copy that. Then paste it. All right, next step is to submit the payment to Stripe. Okay. So since we're using HTML and JavaScript, we are going to be needing this code. So we're going to copy this. All right, it's looking good. Okay, so this a variable called form is defined, getting the element by ID, the payment form. Okay. Now, since we are working with, we want to capture the customer's name and their email, and we need to define a variable here. Okay, let's call it a uh, full name. Okay, we're going to get that from the form document dot get element by ID. So what is our ID? Let's check that. So for the card holder name, the ID is what full name. Then for the email, the ID is what um, email. So our ID is what full name sorry so what else do we need we need the email then document dot get element by id the id name is email all right so now this is the stripe confirm card payment function Okay, this is where we are going to be passing the payment details of the customer. As you can see here, um, a sample is given to us as Jenny Rosen. But that is not what we want. We are going to be passing the variable that is being defined here. So for the name, we're going to pass this 
full name variable full name comma all right for building details if we head over to our stripe api you can see the billing details what we can pass there is the email the name even the phone number and these are the responses that you can get especially when making payments different payment methods you can pass the email name and phone number even country if you for wish but our form will only have the name and the email so that is what we'll be working on now all right so i'm going to pass email then the variable that we have here is email so we'll call that email all right so next thing up now is to check so if there's an any error show error to your customer for example sufficient funds so the example that they have for us here is the console.log but that is not what we might need we we'll just make it to be an alert so we can display the error to the user all right next thing now else if the result the payment intent status if it is succeeded that means if it was successful then we are going to add alert function we're going to tell the customer that what well, the payment has been processed the payment has been processed right then cover that with a semicolon all right what i want is uh, if the user sees this alert after the payment is successful, I want the user to be redirected to the success page. So I will use window.location, then replace window.location, replace function. This will redirect the user to the success page. HTTP forward slash. We're making use of our local host, then Stripe. The name of our folder is uh, this is Stripe Custom, okay? So Stripe Custom, then the sources dot PHP. All right. We are going to go to our browser to test our code. So refresh that. And click on this, add our name, add our email address. Then for scroll down to get our card. So let's try this card. Paste that any date in the future, then any number, then our zip code 371 or 37188. Click on that. Nothing happens. What is wrong? What have we done wrong? Okay, we can debug our error by using inspect to check what could be wrong. Alright, we'll go over to our console. Client secret is not defined at the HTML form elements. So this is not defined. Okay. Sorry. Where did we get that? Okay. All right. Uh, here's our solution. It says the form elements, you can retrieve it here by calling the form.dataset.secret. So we're going to replace client secrets by this. All right. Okay. Let's try again. So if you click on pay, it says we should add our name. Click on pay again, you should add our email. 
gh waters okay then if you click on pay again it says your card is incomplete so I'll scroll down so this card handles the client codes okay so let's paste it we can pay card expiration date is incomplete all right well add our dates any date in the future our security code is incomplete 234 uh, zip code stress 7188 all right so this should decline our card hopefully all right it says your card has insufficient funds so we're going to change our card to the one that has handles authentication so copy it change it copy and paste then click on pay come on taking time all right now it's working all right guys um, remember if you have any question please don't forget to ask me on the comment section then if you click on fail click on fail authentication it says that we are unable to authenticate your payment methods please choose a, a different payment method and try again all right all these alert is coming from here so we show our customer um the messages so let's try again so let's just complete the authentication see what happens the payment has been processed wonderful thanks for your order so this work exactly as expected remember please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video all right if you have any question please don't forget ask me in the comment section i will always be there to answer all your questions so let's me let me head over to my stripe dashboard my payments to check the payments as you can see the payment is what succeeded successful the payment is successful that is good all right guys i hope you love you enjoyed the video if you have any question leave it out in the comment section if this is your first time make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys on the next one